In this tutorial, first, we will create a simple design for the project by putting a front page of a fictional magazine on the screen. Of course, we will improve it in the following sections. Also, after creating this layout, we will develop a very basic feature by adding a double tap gesture to this image. So when users double tap on the cover, then it will be scaled up or scaled down depending on the actual state of the image scale property. As you can see in this demo, this is a pretty simple feature to develop. Yet, it plays a fundamental role in the entire project development so we can build more complex functionalities on top of it. Alright, without further ado, let's open Xcode and start coding. First of all, I'm going to make some room for the code editor. I will start with hiding the sidebar by pressing the command plus zero shortcut. Then I will continue with hiding the inspector pane as well. To do that, this time, I'm using the option plus command plus zero keys. It's much better now. So, if you prefer programming in distraction-free mode from time to time, then I think these shortcuts do the job pretty well. Super. Now let's start the work by replacing the welcome message with a new navigation view. Enter this code. Navigation view. New comment. The end of the navigation view. Then, please add this new modifier to it. Navigation view style. Stack. This stack navigation style will avoid using the sidebar on iPad devices. Great. Now we will add a new view container inside this navigation view. Enter the following code. Z stack. New comment. The end of the Z stack. Navigation title. Pinch and zoom. Navigation bar title display mode. Inline. As you can see in the preview, we just added a title at the top of the view. Of course, the Z stack container is invisible. So the next step is to place the magazine's front cover inside it. Navigate the cursor inside the container. And let's add a new image view to it with this code. New comment. Mark. Page image. Image. Magazine. Dash. Front. Dash. Cover. Resizable. Aspect ratio. Content mode. Fit. Corner radius. 10. Padding. Shadow. Color. Black. Opacity. 0 0.2. Radius. 12. X. 2. Y. 2. I think this code is quite self-explanatory. Especially if the live refreshing preview window is activated beside the code editor. Basically, with this little code, our main layout is already done. But before we start developing the double tap gesture feature, first, we need to add a smooth fade and animation to this image each time we launch the application. Implicit animation. Now I'm going to make some room for the code editor and the mini map so I can quickly navigate from one section to another section. After that, please go to the top and outside the body. Then let's create a new property for the animation. Enter this code. At state. Private. Var. Is animating. Boolean. Equals to false. This mutable variable will store the actual state of the animation. And we can use it to trigger it whenever we want to. Now we will create a fade in animation by adding two new modifiers to the image. Please scroll down to the image and add these codes after the last modifier as I do. Opacity is animating question mark 1 colon 0. After that, please make sure that you add the following implicit animation that you can see in the video annotations as well. Animation linear duration 1 value is animating. This implicit animation asks SwiftUI to apply a one-second linear animation whenever the value of the is animating property changes. And since we are using this property only in the opacity modifier, therefore SwiftUI precisely knows what we want to animate. This will avoid further confusion and unwanted results like animating the image size, the image position, and so on, and changing the opacity value from 0 to 1. We can create a smooth fade in effect. By the way, we could use a specific built-in SwiftUI transition here, and the result would be the same. 
Now the only thing that we need to do to make this code work is to tell SwiftUI when we want to start this smooth fade in animation. Since we want to fade in this image only when users launch the application, we can trigger it by adding an on appear modifier to the main container and changing the properties value there. So let's do it. Please, go to the end of the Z stack and add this new modifier to it. On appear, perform, is animating, equals to true. Now please pay close attention to me. And please, do not add the with animation function here since it will return an unwanted result in the latest iOS release. Of course. If you want to see this unwanted animation, then you can go ahead and wrap the is animating property mutation with it. But after that, you must remove this function. Thank you. After all this, we can check out the fade in effect by starting the live preview. So let's do it. As you can see, after we start the live preview, the image fades in smoothly in one second. How cool is that? Now let's add a double tap gesture with a scale effect to this image. Double tap gesture. First, we need to create a new property to store the actual value of the image scale. Navigate the cursor to the top and enter the following code. At state private var image scale cg float equals to one. As you can notice, the default value of this image scale is 1. This is the initial state that we will mutate each time when users double tap on the image. To make this happen, first, we need to add a new gesture view modifier to the image. Please, scroll down to the last image modifier and enter this code after it. Scale effect. Image scale. New comment. Mark. Number 1. Tap gesture. On tap gesture, count, two, perform, if, image scale, double equal sign, one, with animation, spring, image scale, equal to five, else, with animation, spring, image scale, equal to one. All right, now hold on a sec. And let's discuss what is going here. As you can see, we can create a double tap gesture by adding a specific count parameter to a simple on tap gesture. It is as simple as that. That's the beauty of writing declarative code in this robust framework. Next, inside this double tap gesture, two things are happening. First, we check the value of the actual image scale in a new conditional statement. We only want to scale up the image when the scale value equals its initial value. In case the scale value is equal to the default scale 1. Then we tell SwiftUI to scale up to 5 times the image with a spring animation. Otherwise, when the image size is already scaled up. Then we tell SwiftUI to scale back to its default state. Which is always 1. But enough with the talk, and let's see how this code works in action, shall we? Please, double tap on your device or double click on the image. Then let's see what's happening in the preview window. As you can see, this code works like a charm, and we can scale up and scale down the front cover back and forth each time when we double tap on the image view. How fantastic is that? I can tell you that this was just the beginning. And you will see how complex is the work that requires the development of this pinch and zoom feature. Many questions will be raised along with the development and we will need to find the right solution along the way. I hope you have enjoyed the progress so far, and you are looking forward to the following tutorial, where we will add a new gesture to this image. By the end of the next lesson, users will be able to move this image around the screen with this drag and move feature. Until then, happy coding!